I walked across the top of it when I was a kid. You used to, we used to go to Satan Crow and that. It used to be the, the only way across once over, really. You know, unless you had a car like. We use the bridge quite regular, actually, because we just live at the other side of the river. We think the bridge is wonderful, as long as it's working. Oh, yeah, I'm very proud of it. And at night, it's lit up and it's beautiful. The bridge was opened in 1911, October the 17th, 1911. Uh, it isn't the only one of its kind. It's the only one of this design uh, with a superstructure of steel work. Most of them are like a suspension bridge on the, uh, the top of the cantilever. But there is another one that's operating in, in the UK and that's in Newport in Wales. The original designer was a guy called Charles Smith from Hartlepool but that was many years before it was actually built. Uh, it went to a consortium, really, of Cleveland Bridge and a guy called Ferdinand Arnodin, who was like the guru of bridges. And he had a hand in building about eight of the European bridges. So together they designed this, this structure. One was suspended on 30 inch diameter cables that are attached to a, a running cradle on a rail system. There's four railway tracks up, up top. Um, and the actual cradle is 120 feet in length. And these cables are, are hanging from that, basically. But that gives it its stability as it's driving across the river. The wheels beneath me are basically a train design. They've got a, a flange to stop the the bridge moving side to side and falling off, basically. Um, like I say, they require a lot of grease. They're an old design. They've worked for 90 years, and they'll keep working as long as we keep greasing them. It's just a, a huge winch, um, which can turn either way. But it, it, that winch has two cables on it. Um, a little bit hard to describe, but basically a long rope goes right away across the bridge around a, a pulley and comes back and attaches to one side of the carriage. The short rope comes up to this side of the carriage. The long rope pulls it across, the short rope pays out. And then when you want to pull it back, you pull it back on the short rope and the long rope pays up. Most of the maintenance comprises of greasing and inspection. Um, obviously, the bridge operates from five in the morning till 11 at night. Uh, while it's in operation, you can't do a great deal with it, you can't maintain it. So it's observation and greasing, but it needs a lot of greasing. It pulls a lot of people in from around the world. It stays here at a cost. It permanently needs work onto it. Uh, it is an old structure now, but it's, it's still standing in a saline environment. It stands in salty water, and we all know what that does to steel. So it's always going to need renovation, repair, so it'll stand as long as people are willing to spend money on it. I think it's great. It's easy. Makes it easy to get from Middlesbrough to Seal Sands. Well, I definitely won't knock this down. It's definitely not them Jardies. <laughs> It's a part of Middlesbrough which should remain. Absolutely, I really do feel that.